All right, we've managed to do one of the toughest parts. We've managed to get the question with the two random numbers out, and we'll be able to pick those random numbers so that we've got them correct. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is checking the answer. And it's not quite as easy as it seems, so we're just going to run through this nice and quickly. So um, I rewrote the code a little bit to make it nice and neat. So we've got the, um, the setting of the random number and the score to zero up here. Um, we've also got the, um, the, uh, the forever loop in here, so we constantly ask um, ask the question just so we can test this uh, a few times through without worrying. So um, you can uh, you can see from this is we're ready to rock and roll the the um, the if statement. So we'll click on control again. We'll go to if then else. So that allows us to do one thing or another as we did earlier in code. And now we just need to check the comparison. So we're just going to go up to um, the uh, operators and we're going to find out what the two numbers multiplied together is and we're going to compare that with equals so, so we're going to go to the equals right here drag it there so we've got the equals then we'll go to the uh, multiply we'll put those together and we'll just go to data now and we'll add um, the random one multiply the random one by the random two so we get the correct answer and we'll compare that to the answer so that's in the um, sensing because um, we've just asked the question now just to test it out um, I'm going to quickly just go to the um, say something so if they get the correct answer just going to type in say correct and if they get the wrong answer I'm going to make him think hmm for two seconds instead and um, obviously um, you're going to have to test this so if you click the green you'll get get an answer, I'm just going to type something wrong in to see if that's correct, so yep, he says hmm, and then he goes 3 times 7, I'm going to try the correct answer I hope that's the right answer, there you go and that is correct, and the question will keep looping forever, now um, we're nearly there, so I'm um, going to change the code a little bit in the last one, that good work so far, hopefully you can copy this code and get the same thing as me